Over the years, Android has been trying to transition away from 32-bit applications and games. This has been a pretty flawless process so far, since most devices are shipping with both 32-bit and 64-bit support. Sadly, this means those phones and tablets end up using more hardware resources so that they can support both. The Google Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro are the first Android smartphones to only support 64-bit applications and games. The company announced this late last month with a blog post detailing how the phone is faster, safer, and uses less memory since they only support 64-bit applications and games. They are also happy to advertise that this change gives developers access to better tools and that it could result in OEMs pushing out full OS updates faster since they have less things to test. However, this has resulted in everyone getting errors if they try to install an old application or game that only supports 32-bit CPUs. So if you have tried to install an older APK file and have received an error saying that the application is not compatible with your phone, then this is likely why. We can confirm if an APK file only supports 32-bit CPUs by opening up that file with a File Explorer app that supports archive files. Since APK files are essentially compressed zip files, all we have to do is open up our File Explorer app of choice and view the contents of the file itself. Once the file has been opened, look for a folder labeled lib, L-I-B, as that will include all of the library files that are supported by the application or game. We're using Flappy Bird as the example here, since there are still many people sideloading this game on their new phones. This app can only run on CPUs that support a 32-bit instruction set, since we only see the ARM v7 here in this folder, and that ARM v8 is not present. It's also able to run on x86 chips, but those are quite rare in the Android ecosystem. So if you're trying to install an application on your Pixel 7 or Pixel 7 Pro, and you're being told that the APK is not compatible, then this is likely the cause. And you can confirm this by checking the lib folder inside the compressed APK archive. I have read that there are some ways that those with root access can manually enable 32-bit support on the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro, but I have yet to test this and will need to some time before creating a video about it. If this is something that you would be interested in seeing, let me know in the comment section below so that I know there are enough people who would find this type of content to be useful.